Hi, everybody, and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we develop automated systems to help you win big every single time. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on. We've got you covered. We're going to get into some NFL action for week four. But before we do, again, I want to invite you to join so you will have access to the VIP club section, which has all of these tools here you see to help you make your picks. Okay, so let's take a look at some NFL games. It's a full schedule for week four. We'll take a look at four of them, or uh, actually five of them, as we usually do. And let's get started here. You see there's a lot of information from other people, giving their insights as to what they think is going to happen in the game. Okay, we're going to take a look at Baltimore and Cleveland. In this AFC North battle, you see Cleveland comes in as a two and a half point favorite with odds of 1.69 to 2.179. Over under is sitting at 40.5. Cleveland has a 55% chance of winning this game. Both teams head into the contest at 2-1 on the season. You can see in the over-under, both teams have been involved in games under the line in two out of the three games so far this season. You notice that the Ravens have covered the spread 80% of the last games as an underdog. And the score prediction is Baltimore 31, Cleveland 19, with only 36% confidence in the prediction. If you take a look at the power ranks indicator, Baltimore is plus 26 to uh, plus 19. If you take a look at the head-to-head -head matchup last season, uh, let's see what happened. Baltimore won at home, Cleveland won at home, and both of them were relatively low scoring games. Here was 43 points in the first one and a very low scoring 16-point uh, game in the second one back on December the 17th. If you take a look at the money line, this is the Cleveland money line, it opened at 2.1. You can see there's been some movement in the line, and now it's at 1.69 in favor of Cleveland. In the end, though, I'm going to go uh, for the Ravens this time. I like I like Baltimore on the road to cover and win the game in a game going under the line. Cincinnati and Tennessee. Denver, Chicago, that would not be a very interesting game there. With two teams are very bad. Um, Miami and Buffalo. Here's going to be a good, good game. Both teams come in burning high. What can you say about Miami's offense last week putting up 70 points? But this is going to be a different uh, contest here against Buffalo. Buffalo is starting to turn the corner here. They are burning hot. And, in fact, Buffalo is a home favorite of 1.69 to 2.179 odds. A two-and-a-half-point favorite with an over-under of 53.5. Miami is given a slight 51 to 49% chance of winning this game. Uh, the teams have been trending on opposite sides of the over-under line. You can see two games under the line for Buffalo and two games over the line for Miami. Uh, Buffalo is 67% chance winning rate predicting uh, Buffalo in the last six games. If we take a look at the power ranks indicator, see Miami is still ahead of Buffalo plus 25 compared to plus 20. Head to head last season, Buffalo won, uh, let's see, two of the three games, including a playoff game by a 34 31 score. And all three games were, were close contests. Let's take a look at the money line here. You can see the money line opened with Buffalo at uh, 1.621. There's been some movement in the line. It went to 1.719, and now it's back to 1.69. So in any event, favorites for the Buffalo Bills. And in the end, I think I'm going to go with Buffalo. Um, I believe they will take this game, uh, win and cover, in a game over the line. Uh, Minnesota, Carolina, we're not going to look at that one. Pittsburgh, Houston, the Rams, Colts. You can see every game here has some kind of uh, information about it, which is excellent to look at if you're considering betting on those games. Okay, we're going to take a look at Tampa Bay and New Orleans. Tampa Bay uh, is coming off of a loss where, they, uh, where the offense just couldn't do anything against the tough Philadelphia defense. They are 2-1 and one on the season. And the Saints are also coming off of a loss 18-17, and they are also 2-1 and one on the season. The Saints are a home favorite. Uh, by three and a half points with odds of 1.51 to 2.587. The over-under is sitting at 40.5. And you can see here the Saints have a good chance, 61% chance of coming away victorious in this one. Um, the score predictor is Saints by two touchdowns, 30 to 16. The confidence in the prediction, not very high though, only 51%. One thing to look at is the over-under. You can see this, the totals. Uh, the Saints have been under in all three games, and Tampa has been under in two of the three games, so it's a pretty good idea this game could go under the line here. On the power ranks indicator, you see it very close between the two, Tampa 28 and uh, the Saints 25. Head-to-head -head last season, 
again, even last season, the games were low scoring. Tampa won at home and actually won on the road, too. They won both times against the Saints, uh, 20 to 10 and 17 to 16. This time here, I like New Orleans, but let's take a look at the money line. See what happened here. 1.5. When you see a lot of movement in the money line. But in the end, what happened was it started at 1.51. There's a lot of movement, as you can see. But now, currently, it is 1.51 again. So it's right back where it started. In the end, I like the Saints to win this one in a game under the line. Next one is Washington and Philadelphia. In, in this NFC East battle, the Eagles are coming in as one of only three teams with a perfect record, 3-0. They have not even played their best ball yet. Um, Washington had, had won for their first two. They're coming off a loss, 37-3, to just destroyed by Buffalo. The Eagles have given a 79% chance of winning this game. They're 8.5-point favorites with odds of 1.23 to 4.26. Last season, uh, the team split the two teams, and in fact, Washington won in Philadelphia. Uh, the score prediction has the Eagles by a 36-21 margin. And the Eagles have been uh, picking the Eagles over the last six games is a, is a 67% winning rate. And one thing to know is that the Eagles are burning hot and five-star uh, favorites. So five-star home favorites and burning hot status are three and one in the last 30 days. So I don't know what happened there. That just flipped. Let's go back down to the game we look at. There we go. And next thing I want to look at is the money line. The Philadelphia Eagles money line started at 1.3. And as big a favorite as they were then, 1.3, they're even a little bit more of a favorite now at 1.26. I don't see any way that Washington stays in this one in Philadelphia. Let's go with the Eagles uh, to win and cover in a game over the line. And the last game we want to look at as we go down through here, there's one more. Cardinals in San Francisco. That should be all San Francisco, but you never know. Arizona beat Dallas last week. New England and Dallas, speaking of Dallas, um, the next one is right down here. Kansas City and the Jets, here we go. Kansas City is coming off of two straight wins after an opening week loss, and the Jets are in the op opposite direction. They're coming off of two straight losses. Kansas City is a huge favorite of 8.5 points with odds of 1.23 to 4.26, and the over-under is at 41.5. Kansas City is given an 82% chance of winning this game. Um, and the score prediction is showing similar 40 to 11. Confidence in the prediction is only 50%, but I'm seeing that this is probably going to be a blowout game as well. But let's take a look at a couple other things. Under the hot trend, 67% chance predicting uh, last six Kansas City Chiefs games. On the power ranks indicator, uh, you can see Kansas City is at plus 21. They have uh, overtaken the Jets, who were at plus 23, and now they are at plus 14. If you take a look at the movement in the money line, you can see there has been movement opened at 1.3 and is currently at 1.23. So the Chiefs are even bigger favorites than they were before. So in the end, this is going to be all Kansas City. Go with Kansas City to win and cover and let's go for a higher scoring game. So Kansas City and over the line. There you have it. Those are the games for the NFL for week two. Happy betting and see you again next time.